coffee right now. I just got back from Starbucks, so sorry if I'm a little bit hyper. I haven't had coffee in forever, so the tiniest bit of coffee that I have is going to like make me like woo, super hyper. Today I am going to do a current favorites video, um, and I have tons of favorites that I want to show you guys. This is basically stuff that I have either discovered and fallen in love with or things that I rediscovered that I already, you know, I already had them and then I rediscovered them and I've fallen in love with them all over again and I've been using these products a lot within the past like two and a half months. So, let's get right in. I don't even know where to start. Seriously guys, I have like a lot. And hopefully this video isn't super duper long because I don't want to bore you guys. And I need to make this quick before someone comes home and then I get too <laughs> shy to film or I get I feel too awkward to talk in front of the camera by myself and then my family thinks I'm crazy. Oh my god, I'm so weird. Okay, so guys, during the winter time, my skin gets super duper uber uber ruper looper. Are those even words? I don't know. But my skin gets super dry, um, especially like my legs, and that sounds kind of gross, and it is pretty gross, but it's true. So I went and I purchased this body butter, and. This is from the Body Shop, and it's the Blueberry Butter, Butter, Body Butter. <laughs> it is amazing. Um, it smells pretty nice, and yeah, it just looks like that. You know, really, really like creamy lotion. Um, and I, obviously, it's a body butter, so I put it all over my body. Um, but mainly, I like to put it on my legs because that's where I get the most dry in the winter time. Um, and it works amazing. It just leaves my skin super moisturized throughout the whole day. And that's what I love about it because a lot of lotions that I've tried, they're, you know, at first they're moisturizing for like the first few hours. But then like midway between the day, my skin just gets really dry and like itchy and oh, it's just nasty. But, um, yeah, I really like this. I recommend it. Oh, and if you're someone who doesn't normally shop at the body shop, make sure that you get the one that says dry skin because I made the mistake of purchasing, I think it was like the raspberry um, scented one and that one was for normal skin and it didn't moisturize my skin at all. So then I realized it said normal skin and I was like, oh, so then I went back and I got the one for dry skin. <laughs> so. If you're someone who's new to the body shop like me, make sure you look for that if you also have dry skin. Oh my gosh, how is my battery dying so quickly? Ah! So then speaking of dry skin, I also have been loving this hand food hand cream from Soap and Glory. It looks like that. Um, This stuff works really really nicely because you only need a little bit and I love to carry this around in my purse and I purchased this at Sephora for only five dollars actually that's kind of a lot for this little tiny thing but you only need like a little bit and I just put this on my hands and a little bit really does go a long way and I love the way it just it makes my hands feel super smooth and moisturized and it's just it's lovely it works awesome and my boyfriend really likes it too he has one of his own that he keeps I think he keeps it in his car I don't know but um yeah it works really really well and it also smells really really nice so I love that on the whole like dry skin dilemma issue thing um I've also been loving this hand and cuticle salve from J.R. Watkins. This is what that looks like. I don't know. I really love it. It smells lemony. I love putting this stuff on my cuticles because my cuticles get like really dry and really gross. So this kind of just helps like 
keep them moisturized and looking pretty. Then guys, I have like five lip, five? Yeah, five lip products that I want to show you that I've been like obsessed with. Ah! Um, <laughs> oh my god, I'm so hyper. This is the Sugar Lip Treatment and... Um, this is what it looks like. When I first got this, I never really, like, reached for it. I was just kind of like, okay, cool, whatever. And then I, like, tossed it to the side. I kind of forgot about it just because there's other lip balms that I use. And then, I don't know, I saw this because I was cleaning out my makeup, um, collection. And I saw this and I was like, oh, yeah. And then I started using it and now I've been, like, obsessed with it. And I think I'm even almost out of it. But I don't think I would repurchase it because it's expensive and I already have a ton of other lip balms. But anyways, I have also been using this Baby Lips um, lip balm from Maybelline. And this is in the color Cherry Me. And it looks like... Ooh, ooh. <laughs> it looks like that, you know, just like a red color. But it goes on pretty sheer. And... It smells really, really nice, and it's, like, super sheer. Like, you can barely even see that. But I like it because on days where I don't want to wear a lot of makeup, and I just, or, like, I'm in a rush, and I just need to, like, run out the door, or if I'm just going to, like, the grocery store, or, I don't know, like, random places, you know, um, I just put this on. And it gives, like, a really nice, like, sheer hint of color, but it looks natural, and I think these are nice. I don't know. I like them, and I've been using this one. So, this one is from Maybelline, and it is in the color Plum Paradise. It comes in this really dark color, and it looks kind of scary, but when you put it on your lips, it's like a... It's just like a, how would I describe this? Like a dark, plummy, red, berry <laughs> color. It's this one right here. And as you can see, it doesn't look as dark and scary as it does in the tube. But I have been obsessed with this color because, I don't know, I just really like it and... Well, duh, I like it. Why else would it be on my favorites? <laughs> but um, I really enjoy dark colors in, you know, the winter time. And so I've just been using this a lot. And days when, like, I just don't know what color to put on my lips, I just put this on. And I think it just looks really nice with my skin tone. And, yeah, I really enjoy this. And what? My battery only has like one little bar thing left. It better not die on me. Okay, so this is the Revlon Lip Butter in Red Velvet. It also looks like really dark and scary in the tube, but when you put it on your lips, it's just, it's that one right there. It's like, you know, just like a really nice red color, like a darker red color. And I love the lip butters because they're just really easy to put on and they're really moisturizing. I don't know, they're just, they're just easy and simple, and I like them. So this one is the Rimmel London Moisture Renew Lip Gloss, and I have never tried one of these lip glosses, but I saw them on sale um, at CVS, obviously. It says, take 50% off. Woohoo, bargain shopper! This is in the color... Purple Rescue. I really like this because it's really pigmented and it's it is pretty moisturizing and I don't know I just really like the color and the glossiness that it gives me on my lips <sighs> oh my gosh I am like out of breath I think I'm talking too fast or maybe I don't know <laughs> I don't know what's going on I don't know what's wrong with me came home so now I feel a little weird so sorry if I'm not talking as loud okay so this is the blush crush baked 
blush by Hard Candy and it is in the color Pin Up and this is what the packaging looks like and then this is what the actual product looks like and I use this as a highlight and it looks like that it's just a really nice pretty color and on my skin tone it looks a lot more natural than like a straight up like white highlighter um this has a little bit more of like some like I don't know like brown and champagne tones to it so it looks a lot more natural on my skin tone so Okay, then I've been obsessed with this blush. I rediscovered it in my collection. And this is from Wet n Wild, and it's in the color Mellow Wine. And it looks like that, and it's just so pretty. And it's like a... It's like a... Whole, like... Like a rose, like a dark rosy color. And... I just think it's really pretty. I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now. And I'm also wearing this highlighter right now. I don't... You guys probably can't tell, but... Yeah, it looks really, really pretty. I've also been using my NYC bronzer in Sunny a lot. Um, I was using my bronzer by, by Benefit, the one that's called Hula. But I ran out, so I rediscovered this. I already had this in my collection, and I used to use it a lot, but I kind of forgot about it. But I remembered it, and now I have been using it every single day. And I really like it because it looks really natural on me, and there's no shimmer in it, and it's really matte, and um, it's just really pretty. It looks like that if you can see it but yeah like I said on my skin tone it's really natural you can barely even see it when I swatch it it's this right there it's a really nice bronzer and only costs like two or three dollars so I definitely love that because I am a cheapo <laughs> oh my back hurts okay guys so then I've been obsessed with this foundation lately all like within the past month or so and this is from covergirl it's the covergirl nature Lux liquid silk foundation and this is in the color 325 sandstone i'm not a huge like liquid foundation kind of a person i love powder foundation i used to wear tons of liquid foundation not like tons like i would pack it on but i meant like i used to have I used to own a lot of like different liquid foundations and I would wear it like every day. But then I found that my skin was just like, it didn't like it. And then a lot of the times too when I wear foundation, like my skin is just like screaming and it's like yelling like, oh get this off of me. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes I feel like, like when I wear liquid foundation I'm just like, oh, like I want to like just like wipe it off and like. I just want to be free <laughs> I want my skin to feel free and that's what I like about this is because I don't feel like I'm wearing liquid foundation it gives really natural coverage and I don't know I just like the look that it gives and like I said I just it's very light so it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything and I don't get that feeling of like Duh, like if I'm wearing a mask. I love this. Okay, so then the last two things that I'm going to talk about are hair products. And the first one that I want to show you is this Renewing Moroccan Argan Oil. And it's a penetrating oil. <laughs> um, this is from the brand Organics. And this is just the little, like, mini size. I got the little travel size at Ulta. I don't know if they still, like, sell them, but I think this was only, like, 2 or $3. But even, like, the bigger bottle, like, the full-size one, it's only, like, $7, I think. I'm not too sure. I don't know. But somewhere around there. So, you know, it's not expensive at all. And I really like it because it leaves my skin, my skin, my hair... <laughs> 
it leaves my hair really nice and soft and it gives it this nice like shine and it just makes it look really really healthy and I feel like this has just been helping my hair too I feel like it's just been helping to make my hair a lot more healthier and I don't know it's the best oil I've tried and it's really inexpensive so that's another plus um, so I am like, I don't know why I'm so out of breath, <laughs> but the last thing that I have to show you guys is a dry shampoo, and this is from the brand Dove, and it's the Dove Hair Therapy Refresh and Care Invigorating Dry Shampoo, and this is what the bottle looks like, and this is amazing. I've been looking for um, a drugstore dry shampoo that works well and I've tried a few from the drugstore that I, I don't like I'm not happy with but this one I really do like and I am happy with this one and first of all it smells so good um, and that's like something that I look for in a dry shampoo I want to make sure it smells good because obviously you know it's going in my hair and I want it to make my hair smell nice especially when I have second day hair so this makes my hair smell really good and it, the scent stays in your hair throughout the whole day so that's also you know a plus and then I don't know it just works really well like it takes the greasiness out of my hair and it makes my hair feel nice and refreshed so overall yeah this works really nice and I'm trying to put the cap back on but it won't it won't go ah, there <laughs> that is it for my current favorites. Sorry if this video was long, but thank you so much if you stuck with me throughout the whole thing. And my foot is like asleep. Oh, oh my gosh. Ah. <laughs> I hate this feeling. Okay, so I'm going to go now and try to wake my foot up because it totally just fell asleep on me. Um, but yeah, like I said, thank you so much if you stuck through with me throughout this whole video, and thank you so much for watching, and I really hope that you guys have a wonderful day, and if you have any current favorites that you've been loving, let me know in the comments below, um, because cause I love hearing about other people's favorite products. I think it's just a lot of fun. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and... Thank you so much for watching once again, and I will talk to you all later. Bye. Peace.